Welcome back, my basketball camp warrior parents. We're moving right along here to module five, the next gather module, navigating college basketball camps and hiding those fit hidden links, those hidden camp links on your college websites. Recap quickly about gathering camps on youth basketball camps, our last module. We walked through the best basketball camp website on the internet, showed you the best way to find camps near you, right near you in those state pages, went over national, celebrity, and international camps on the site so you could find exactly what you're looking for. Also checked out the Get Better section, which is dedicated to getting young athletes better at basketball. Today's game plan, module five, now that we have a good understanding of youth basketball camps and maybe youth, youthbasketballcamps.com, and maybe you have some colleges in mind, you've checked out your state page, you have some colleges you've looked at to see if they have basketball camps. Now we're gonna go through the college sports websites to show you the areas where you can discover basketball camps. And if you've already looked at some of them, you may have noticed it's hard to find camps. There's websites you went to, they don't have camps. Sometimes they're unorganized, and I'm going to show you five different places where you can find camps on the site so that you look and hit all your bases when you're going to these sites. Because some are organized really well, and that's awesome, great, but some aren't, and that just stinks, that sucks, because... Nobody likes it when they miss basketball camps on a website. We're going to get our hands pretty dirty in this module. We're, we're going to show you the details. I'm going to share my screen like before, show you exactly where you need to look, really get into these websites. Rookie mistake for today, only focusing on the big colleges, the D1, the large and famous colleges. For example, if you lived in North Carolina, Duke and UNC, NC State, all have great programs, but don't just focus on those camps. If you want to Go to all of them, that's great. But there's also a ton of other smaller colleges in North Carolina. A lot of small schools have great basketball programs, and the really good ones will use their elite camps for high schoolers as a recruitment tool so that they don't have the budgets of the big schools to go out and recruit these players. So they'll actually use their elite, some of them, not all of them, but some of them will, I've seen this, where they will use their camps as a recruitment tool because the best high school players in the area hopefully will come to their camp, train, they can maybe pick up some recruit, maybe possible recruits out of those camps. So check out these smaller colleges, especially if you're looking to play your middle of high school, maybe beginning of high school, and you'd like to play at a local college. That would be a great place to get picked up. A few quick tips before we move on. YouthBasketballCamps.com, you can find over 1,200 D1, D2, D3, NAIA colleges, which is awesome. It took a lot of hard work to get it all together and monitor all the links, but I think it's a great service to you guys out there listening. One thing you won't find on the website, though, are junior colleges, also called JUCOs, because there's a lot of them, and the majority of them really don't have camps. Some have great programs, but I've looked at several uh, probably dozens, maybe even hundreds, and I just couldn't find camps, quality enough quality camps. Some do, though, have really great cramp, great camps. I went to several junior college camps back in the day in my area. So I recommend if you know of a junior college in your area, Googling it, checking it out, getting in there, maybe even calling the college and seeing what's out there. Pro tip real quick before we move on. Not all colleges will be listed. Not all colleges on youthbasketballcamps.com will have camps listed. About 90, 95% do, but the 5% that don't, unfortunately they don't, and it's because they get canceled from year to year. A lot of things just change with new coaches, new programs, maybe who knows things happen throughout the year, throughout between basketball ends and the camps happen so if you that's why this module is important so i show you where to look and if you look in all these places you don't find a camp then they may not just have a camp and it's just listed and it dropped off i try to do my best to make sure all the links have camps and at some point all these links did have a camp in the last year or so uh, but for some for whatever reason if you see one without a camp it might just not have a camp all right let's go ahead and get into these college camp websites 
I will share my screen with you. Okay, here we are back at youthbasketballcamps.com. I went to Florida basketball camps. This is going to be the example we use today. Now, let's say you scroll down, find some camps you're interested in, click official website. They open up in a new tab. I have some examples up here of different where you can find different camps all over these websites. First one, let's say we click on University of Florida. Now we take you to this this website. It's going to take you right here, but I'm going to show you real quick if you just stumbled onto this site from the home page. The basketball camp is actually under the fan section. So you see you go under fans, camps and clinics right here. This will bring up all the camps and, and you can see here University of Florida men's basketball and women's basketball right here right next to each other but note that it's under the fan section next over here let's say you clicked on University of Miami it'll bring you to the camp section and you can see the basketball camp men's basketball camp right here women's basketball right here but if you if you stumbled onto a, a, a page that just had the home page, you're going to notice that the camp is actually under Inside Athletics, not fan zones like Florida. Inside Athletics, right there, camps. You would click there and it would take you right here. Inside Athletics, camps, right there. Next example here, let's say you clicked on Palm Beach Atlantic University. Really easy. I like these because they list them right here at the top. And if you just clicked it right here, You'd see the camp, all the camps listed right here. There's boys basketball, girls basketball. Another example I have here, JU. And here's a little bit. It gets, sometimes they get a little tricky. You go to the you, you're looking for a women's ba uh, girls basketball camp. You go to the women's basketball page. No camps listed. No camps listed. You got all these. You have this banner. You don't see anything. Links. You don't see anything. Nothing listed. So you think there wouldn't be a camp. Well, if you go to Inside Athletics, boom, summer camp's right there at the bottom. You click that, and you'd get taken right there. But notice that. Sometimes they don't list them on the, the sports pages. If you go to men's basketball, they do list it. They actually do list a camp. So girls didn't, boys did. They get a little unorganized sometimes, but that's how it happens. That's just how it, ha that's just how it is. How it is, folks. Last example here, the hidden links I'm going to show you. Here we got Warner University. You go around, you look at the site, you go to the men's basketball page, you're looking around, you don't really see anything. Two hidden links here I'm going to show you. You always want to check out the banners because a lot of times they will put banners on the camps. Boom, there it is, summer camps, and you can click there and find the link. But you wouldn't, sometimes they scroll, but if you scroll down, and you missed it when they were moving right here, you would have never thought there were camps. So go ahead and you can click on those arrows just to double check to see if there's anything available. And the real hidden links here that I'm going to show you, additional links. Boom, right there. You go down, you see the individual camps. A little hidden, especially for some camps, they'll list several links across the top on that men's basketball and women's basketball camp page. And you always want to go there and check out the additional links. Scroll down these real quick, and you'll see there are camps right here and here. So two hidden places really right here. The scrolling bar. Oh, clicked it, opened it up. The scrolling bar, you want to see that there and the additional links. So that'll be the, the some of the areas you're going to want to look. And th that'll really be most of the places, 99% of the places where camps will be if there are camps listed. So real quick to recap it. Fans, the Fans tab, boom, Camps and Clinics. The Inside Athletics tab, Camps right there. At the top, just check out the top. That's the easiest one for you to find. Here, you remember, they might not be. Here it is on men's basketball, but on women's basketball, remember that wasn't listed, so you want to check out the Inside Athletics, the Fan Zone. And then always, especially for these smaller colleges, Check out the banners. Really check out those additional links because it will have the camp listed. Those are the hidden links that you really can't see it unless you go there to that additional link. And that's the five places where I have camps. Remember all these. Maybe jot them down. 
to check the go through the five steps when you're going through and looking for camps. That wraps up where I'm looking up here. We're going to get back into the slides and wrap up the whole module. Getting back in the slides now, that'll wrap up the college camps. That will do it. We showed you exactly where to look. Those are the places that I've spent many years looking at camps, and those are all the places I check out to quickly determine if a college camp does or doesn't have a camp. We went over those tips, showed you exactly where to look, went through four different places. I actually would say five four different, but also I would count the banner as a fifth as well. And don't forget to search for those local smaller colleges because a lot of them have quality basketball camps as well. As well. And they might be right, right, excuse me, they might be right in your backyard. Up next, we're going to go through some national elite showcase camps. We're also going to talk about those a little bit more. We're going to jump right into navigating those. And I'm going to give you my two cents about each camp category, what makes them unique, what to consider when choosing those camps. I'll share you my screen. We're going to go right through all those camps, just like we've done the last two modules. I'll also give you those examples of elite and showcase camp sites to look at. They're gaining a lot of popularity, and you definitely need to be aware of them because they are out there. They're popping up like crazy. I'll show you exactly what you need for, need to look out for in the next module.